everyone, we are being joined again by Carol from WIT and today we are going to be talking about some of the nursing courses. Now, as you guys um, know that nursing is one of the top things that gets um, to get residents in New Zealand. Um, there is obviously a huge shortage of registered nurses in New Zealand and we are going to be talking to Carol from WIT today about the nursing programs and some of the pathways that these nurses have and um, around some of the placements for these nurses. Um, Carol, I do wanna tell people that are listening that you've got experience um, more than most people that I know in the industry, I think close to 20 years. Um, so you've kind of seen it all over the years, which is fantastic. So um, tell us from your perspective, I mean, nursing is so sought after. There's people that you know decide to get into nursing um, What's your first advice to those people that are looking at getting into nursing? Thank you, Aruma. Uh, nursing is such a great career choice. I think if you're looking for a, an occupation that has a great outcome, then nursing is, is going to meet that need. In New Zealand, many of our current workforce are around my age. So they may have a lot of experience, but they're looking towards retirement. So there are going to be huge shortages of skilled nurses. So this is a great, a great time to get into the industry. I think also the New Zealand government have, um, have increased the salary ranges for nurses. So in terms of um, employability and, and earning power, nursing is also a, a good choice. We have uh, intakes for our Bachelor of Nursing twice a year. Uh, in New Plymouth in, in February and in June. And we also offer the opportunity for students to come directly into year two of our program if you've done um, some relevant qualification in your home country. Uh, we're usually looking for a little bit of um, experience as well, but that is quite a popular choice for a range of Indian nurses who are getting direct in entry into year two of WIT's Bachelor of Nursing program. You know, I'm just going to delve a little into that, um, Carol. Uh, so a lot of people that are going to be listening to us today are possibly within New Zealand borders. They could be, you know, people that have, that are maybe wives of partners that were here on different visas. They may yes. have had a nursing background from overseas, or there may be students that are finishing high schools and now they're actually looking at, you know, a career that they want to be in. Before I get into the cross credit into the second year, I do want to ask you really quickly, what are the entry requirements for a bachelor's of nursing program? That's a three-year degree program. What are the key entry requirements that a student must meet? Okay. So for entry, um, our applicants need to meet the English entry requirement, which is uh, 6.5 in every band for entry, uh, for IELTS or equivalent. Uh, students also need to have university entry. Now we do look for biology um, as one of those key subject areas. Um, yeah, so that, they're the main entry requirements. Um, mm -hmm. Now, you, we were just talking about some students that have got previous experience that have been nurses in their home country, or they may have a bachelor's or a general diploma that they've got an option of possibly looking at transitioning into the second year. Tell us more on how that works and what sort of background are you looking for okay. um, so that they can meet that requirement for cross credits? Sure. Uh, many nurses in India have completed a diploma in nursing um, and they would be eligible for entry into our second year of the bachelor degree. They would also have to have some evidence of work experience, but we are seeing a growing trend of, um, of nurses looking for that option. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, for those students that are seriously thinking about taking nursing as a career, they know, you know, what the course is. They can read about the course on the website. But a lot of the times the students don't actually understand what's in the program yeah. um, and how the placements work from a clinical perspective. Can you just talk to us, to those people, so that they can actually understand what they're going to be doing in these courses and these degree Absolutely. programs? Absolutely. Yes, please to do that. Um, so with three-year bachelor degree teaches the skills that you need to become an effective registered nurse. So we teach you how to be a nurse. And our degree has over a thousand hours of clinical placement time. So that prepares nurses 
for the workforce. It connects you with employers before um, you finish the qualification. And so, so when you're ready to graduate, you know exactly what you're going to be doing. Uh, the, so the program um, is very evidence-based. So when you're in your clinical practice, you'll be working alongside registered nurses to gain that experience. So you're out there right from the beginning of the program throughout the entire three years. And that time in the clinical placement increases as the program um, uh, goes through. So you might be working at the district hospital board um, in, uh, in aged, aged care, um, in clinical practices where doctors, you know, doctors, um, uh, medical practices, so in, in mental health facilities, You'll be out in the community um, to see how community nursing works. So a huge range. So that gives you the ability to decide which is the area that I really want to work in. So the students get the opportunity to, to decide which their specialist area might be. So that is, that is taught alongside the theory, the tutorials. So what, this is what we call blended learning lectures, seminars, debates, uh, some science lab work, uh, portfolios, and lots of, lots of support as you go along your teaching learning journey. Thank you. For my understanding, um, can you just tell, tell us, you've talked about a range of places, the clinical placements where the students can have. Now, is this something that they're making choices about, or is this something that they're working in conjunction with their tutors? Or is it something that WIT provide? How does it work from a practical perspective? So WIT, WIT um, organise all the clinical placements. So we work with all the providers in our region for placements. And then we place the students in those placements. So they're not, um, so students don't get to choose. We give them a wide range of different experiences so that they, so when they graduate, they are well-rounded with a knowledge of all the different clinical settings. That's right. And I think by the time they've actually had their hands working in all of these different areas, they would have a better feel of where their real passion and interest lies. So that's that's yes. fantastic. Um, Carol, I do want to talk about the competency assessment programs. Now, that's obviously really, really popular. Mm -hmm. um, we bring in quite a few nurses that come to do these programs. Guys, if you are looking, um, listening to this, and you're possibly looking at studying a CAP program, which we're going to talk about, you do need to understand that you cannot go through um, a student advisor. You have to go through a licensed advisor or a lawyer or someone that's exempt or do it yourself. So you can't go through a student um, agent to, to do these applications for you because it's not allowed because this is immigration advice. Um, so this is something that we do help with. Carol, please do talk to us about the, the CAP courses and what happens from there on. Yes, so um, thanks, Aruma. Uh, yes, I would like to, to reinforce that, um, at which we have to have a licensed immigration advisor's name on the offer of place, because um, yeah, that is a, an immigration requirement. Um, so CAP has become very, very popular because it, currently it's one of the very few ways that you can enter New Zealand through New Zealand's strict border controls. So currently CAP nurses are skilled and they, there is a border exemption allowing them to enter New Zealand. What's next intake is in June. Uh, we also have intakes in August and October uh, this year. And we have between 15 and 25 places available in each intake. So they're not huge classes, um, but uh, that is, that is uh, numbers of students have to be balanced between domestic and international. So we do get some nurses in New Zealand who return to the workforce and they also have to uh, enrol in this competency assessment program. The program at WIT is nine weeks. Six weeks are in a clinical setting and three weeks are theory-based. Thank you very much, yep. Carol, for speaking to us.
please register your interest to have your consultation complimentary with our student specialists through our open days. Um, you'll find the link in the post. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you.